I think the, the attraction to me and why I'm quite passionate about the reference module and why I took on the role as Editor-in-Chief is I think it's really the next step to providing um, more open access to reference material for researchers and um, related people in all sorts of environments, be they universities, research institutes and the like. The reference module provides an ability for material to be kept current. It's easily accessible and it's authoritative. So it comes from a well-respected publisher in, uh, in the technical field and so it carries with it a stamp of authority. Um, it also provides an ability for us in control of the reference module to keep things up to date and that's an important aspect of um, reference material nowadays. Reference material is important to provide a foundation to areas that researchers are working in. They might be new program initiatives, new project initiatives, and they, they need to basically uh, educate themselves with exactly what's happened in those fields. Researchers are looking for currency in their reference material and easy accessibility. And the reference module, I think, addresses both those areas. There's an area of science at the moment um, looking at what's called the microbiome. So this is the community of bacteria and other organisms that exist in the um, human gut, both large and small intestine. And it's becoming clearer that the microbiome is very important to a whole range of health outcomes to consumers. And it's a very fast moving area. So articles in the area of the microbiome that can be quickly uploaded to the reference module would be very attractive to people working in this field. The foundational uh, content is a uh, new uh, concept that the uh, reference module is bringing to the community of researchers. The main emphasis is to have uh, access to uh, a compendium uh, like uh, source which is online and the contents uh, are alive and dynamic and evolving with time. This uh, publication will provide the foundational aspect of any topic and any development that has taken place and this is where its value comes in, that it does not treat a topic in isolation. It treats uh, topics in uh, conjunction with related topics. So it doesn't give a, a snapshot at any one time. It gives a, a picture uh, of the entire development uh, throughout a number of years. And that is the exceptionally important, uh, so that you do not get just an isolated information, but you get a total picture uh, of the development of a particular topic area. But uh, reference module uh, in materials uh, science and materials engineering will, will attempt to do that, so that the readers can simply consult one uh, source to get all the information they need. Thank you.